Hi everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. Yes, it is that time again when we look at all the pages we coloured in the previous month. So, it's now April. So what did we colour in March? I actually coloured 29 pages, which is a hell of a lot. I think it's the most I've ever done. There are a lot of patterns in there. Um, I'll admit that there are a heck of a lot of patterns. That's the only reason it's so much, because I just chill out and veg. In fact, when I've done this, and I'm going to do a couple of flip-throughs of some new books I got today, then I am going to uh, pull one of the books out and, and do another pattern. So, excuse me, it's going to be the same. I've got a bit of a, an ear infection. I'm a bit blocked up. It's not good. So, these aren't in any particular order. I'm just going to show you all the PDF pictures I coloured first. So, I've got this one, which was a freebie from the Deborah Muller's Colouring Club uh, colouring page on Facebook. She gives a freebie out every week. And I like this one and I printed it up to colour and sometimes I just save them and can't do it later but this one I wanted to do. You can see the difference, I don't know if it picks it up, um, the, most of this game was done with touch 5 markers or touch new, apart from down here because the Bailey beige ran out and I used the Bailey beige from the Oh Hoo Hoo and it's a lot smoother so I quite like that. The next few are from Ava Brown from her books because obviously as you know I'm a member of the launch club so I get a PDF copy of all the new books for free. I've got another new one. I might colour in that one after. I haven't decided yet. So this one was from The Secret Garden 2. I did two from this. This is printed out a bit thin, uh, long and thin. Normally it'd be a bit fatter. I was new to the printer at this point but I like that one. So there's that one. And again, this was just done with like um, Sharpies and shot art markers, nothing special. The first one was done with the hoo hoos and glitter gel pens. So I've got a set of markers downstairs and a set of markers up here. Now I've got the hoo hoos up here and I've got my other blends downstairs. Again, this was from Secret Garden 2 as well. Uh, I like this one. Again, shot art and Sharpies. This one was from Cute Ocean. I love this, the little, little starfishes. And um, this was coloured using a hoo hoo markers, shuttle arts, sharpies, anything I fancied. I quite like it, it's very cute. Um, two more from Ava Brown. Uh, this one, this one was from Spring, Country Spring Scenes, or I think that's what it's called, Country Spring Scenes or country spring country spring uh, again this was done with this was done with the markers the brush pens from Lidl's I can't think of what they're called off the top of my head yeah that, that was fun I enjoyed that one and this one was done using the black widow pencils and this is again from spring country spring I think it's called somebody planting some flowers in the garden so that's all the PDFs. I'll put them out of the way so I can get them in my folder later. So if you watched my colouring book collection, you'll know that I got this book um, from this month. Uh, you would have seen it in my haul and I coloured three out of this one. So I'll show you those. Okay, so yeah, I never do the, the nameplate pages. I will, uh, well, I think when I finish the book, and I want to put it away, I'll do the, the name page. Let's just get past all these colour test pages. So this is the first one and I did this with my Link Shine um, glitter gel pens. As you know I love these and it actually looks really nice on this paper. So it's really, really nice. This was just done doing some random markers. I have no idea which ones they were. I can't honestly say but uh, it's really pretty. In fact I think no, I have no idea. And again, this one I did as well. That's the, the last one. Again, I, they look like um, Crayola Super Tips or something like that, to be honest. So it might well have been, because I did have a box of them down there of Jennifer's and I was just using them. It might have been a mixture of various things. Or again, it, it could have been those ones from Lidl's. I really can't remember the name. So I've done three from that. This is the book I might colour in afterwards because I love it. I think that's a great book. Next is, like I said, loads of patterns. Jade Summers. Beautiful uh, colour by number, beautiful patterns. I'm going to put that one out of the way because I'm going to do that one again later. 
Um, so let's have a look. I did a couple in here. I think I did three in this one as well because it's so easy to do. In fact, I'm using, I was using super tips in this and they're, they're running out. Uh, that one. I need to get some cheap markers, like small super tips like this. Because I do like using them. Uh, this one. So this is just all done using the super tips. Another Jade Summer book. This is Gothic Tattoos. This was a first one I've done in this one, I think. Yeah, the first one I've done in this one. So this is one for Colour Mahord. And I did this one. I like this one. I think she looks brilliant. I blacked out the background. I used a mixture of markers on this. It would have been touch new for the skin. I'm going to say shuttle arts for the rest of it. I missed a bit there, as you can see. <laughs> a bit of hair. I shall fill that in in a minute. I'll leave that one out. Um, and some black jelly glaze or jelly roll glaze on her there and on her eyes. But yeah, I enjoyed that. That was a nice one. Put that to one side because I need to finish it off. But it's still kind of finished. As far as I'm concerned. Uh, Jade Summer Mandalas. I love these book. Uh, this is the colour by number one. Again, I've done a couple in this one too, I think. And again with the super tips. So there's that one. And that one. Oh, I do like these patterns. I admit, yeah, I do like them. Might not, tr might try not to do <laughs> too many Jade Summers next so much patterns. I don't think I would do colour by numbers. Just because I haven't got uh, markers. So this one, um, this is Easy Flower Mandalas by Stefia Stefania Miro. This has got black pages, which I love. And if I can get to it, I've, uh, I did this one. Now this was done using the Uhuhu um, fluorescent markers. And I enjoyed doing that. It was very, very, it was fun just using the full colours that came with that just to do that picture. This is one of the books I might finish. It seems that there's a lot of pages in there, but there's only like about 12 or 13 left to go. So you never know. I might do. It will definitely be a pattern book. I'm going to be honest with you. Next is Mandala's A Four of Beginners by Jane Tamar. And I think... I'm going to struggle to remember which markers these were. I think they were just Sharpies. Yeah, they're just Sharpies. That's just the Sharpies. Obviously, it didn't take very long. Um, nice and fun, quick one to do. Like I said, when I've got five minutes watching a bit of TV in the evening, if I'm not feeling uh, a big colouring coming on, I, I just do finish doing some patterns. Another pattern one next. See, I said it was mostly patterns this month. And that is... Um, Sun and Moon Mandala Colouring Book by Camellia Angel Cove. Again, this is a book that I could quite easily finish. I love them. In this one, again, this has been used mostly the Link Shines. In fact, probably all Link Shine. You'd think I didn't have any other glitter gel pens, but I have got a whole bag of them. I'll try to use some of them up uh, in April. So there's that one. I do like this book. I'm looking forward to finishing it so we can do a complete flip through of that one. That goes on a separate shelf. Uh, another Jade Summer one here. This is Animal Mandalas. This was a buddy colour with Sonia from Sonia Mixed Media. And she's got it up on her Instagram, both of them together. And we, but we did the unicorn and we both did glitter pens. Um, I, like, I like this. I love the way that my little unicorn looks. <laughs> So next, there's still loads to go. We have Nouveau Fairies Special from Colour in Heaven. And I did this. Uh, who's the artist? This is Herb Leonard. And I did this one, which is called The Lily and Ladybird, which I love. Now, I blacked out the background because... And you can see there's a bit of smudge in there from the gel pen, which is fine. Some of them have these bubbles. They, I think they're bubbles. But I do suffer from something called trypophobia, and I hate things that look like that. I can't, they, they make me feel really uncomfortable. It is a thing, it's called trypophobia. Don't look it up, it's horrible. It's usually when there's a cluster of small holes together. So this doesn't bother me, just the little spots, but holes. I got a crumpet. Um, what else? Where else would you see some? Some people don't like honeycomb. That doesn't bother me. Yeah, but, uh, you know, it's, it's just a weird phobia. It's irrational, it's silly, I know it, but I can't help it. It just makes me feel a bit... Ugh. Makes my skin crawl. 
but I enjoyed doing this picture because I love lilies so yeah there's uh, that was done with um, mm, mm, what is done with polychromos I want to say and glitter gel pens yeah it was polychromos and that one goes on that shelf Next we've got another Jade Summer, and again this is one from Colour Your Horde, went, uh, March 20, 2021. Fantasy Adventure by Jade Summer, hadn't coloured in this one at all until now. And of course I did the Leprechaun. And this was done with a mixture of pens. Um, touch 5, Sharpies, the oh -hoo hoos I think, and... and uh, yeah, most likely shuttle arts, along with some Sakuri jelly rolls on the, the coins. I might enjoy doing that one. I didn't finish it actually on uh, St. Patrick's Day, but I enjoyed doing it. It was fun. I like doing those ones. Colour by Number of Flowers by Jade Summer. Again, I do like the Jade Summer books. Um, and this would have been done with... Um, there's two in this one. Um... Oh, what they called super tips, Crayola super tips. So, is that one? Oops, not that one. And you do have to be careful because they do go through. The Crayola super tips can go through. And again, as you can see here, that's where it's gone through. Um, so I will be putting paper behind if I do any more. And that one again, Crayola super tips. They're great for things like this. I might try and do one with pencils, but I just, yeah, I just can't be bothered. I just want to have a nice, quick finish and just have fun. So it's that one. Next, I finally finished the one I was doing in Yam Puff's Dream Collection. This, I started this one in February. And I did this little unicorn from Carousel Dreams. And this was done with the... I'm going to say it was done with the Black Widows because I'm pretty sure it was. And I just love the bright colours. It's so cute. I love this book. They're very, very nice uh, pictures in uh, Yam Puff's. are very, very... Yeah, the Yam Puff pictures are really, really nice. I'm just going to have a quick sip of a uh, drink. <clears throat> I thought everybody had this book, so I had to get it. Rose Windows. Uh, Creative Haven. Now, uh, this is, as you know, with most pattern books, I do them in order that they are in book, and I'm happy to do that with this one as well. And I can see me finishing this book, and I've only done one in it so far because I love it, and it's this one. Do you know, this was done using the alcohol markers I bought in Lidl, if you watched my haul. There were eight different colours, and they're really nice. They are so nice. I really, really like them. So, yeah, that was done with those. I know, I'm looking forward to I'm going to keep this book out, I think, because I want to do another one in this one as well. <laughs> Uh, next, uh, Jade Summer 50 Easy Patterns. I picked up some cheap markers in what? Because my dad wanted uh, a black one for the uh, garden. So I picked up a set of brights and a set of pastels, uh, pastel colours. And this is the brights, most of them. A nice, simple, easy one to do. And in this one, I used the other set. This is 50 Easy Mandalas. I did find that one of the pens was completely dried out and it was sort of a purple pastel colour. There was nothing in the tip at all. It like, looks like they missed putting the colour actually in the pen. But they were like 87p for eight pens. I'm not complaining. I can pick up another set next time I go and hopefully it'll work then if necessary. I'm not worried. But those pastels are beautiful, aren't they? Like It's like refreshers, sweets. We are very near the end. Next, I have got Fairy Tales. Remember, we did this one on camera. We did Goldilocks, and here she is all finished with her wall, and her bears are done. And this was, as you know, was done with the Black Widows. I don't usually mix pencils. It's just the way I colour. I just don't. But, yeah, I like that one. And finally, the very last one is, of course, the one we did on our last colouring chat, which is Hannah Lynn's Enchanted Faces. Here she is. I am really pleased with her. Now, favourite of the month is between Goldilocks and Hannah Lynn. Or even Yampuff, actually. 
I'm not sure. I think I'm going to go with Goldilocks. Yeah, I'm going to go with Goldilocks. That's my favourite for the month. Um, I'm sure there will be a Hannah Lynn one soon because, uh, uh, you know, there's so many beautiful pictures. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this look at what I coloured in March. What was your favourite? Um, and I will see you in the next video when we'll be doing more colouring. See you soon. Bye, guys.